Motion is, is a very cool uh, editing tool for all of your text, all of your advanced text editing, and any simple uh, text additions you're going to add to your clips. Of course, you can do it in your Final Cut Studio, which is a lot easier than having to deal with moving to this window and uh, and doing any complicated uh, editing. So that's always very helpful. And so you have unlimited capacity with this. I mean, there's some amazing uh, 3D animation and, and editing you can do with this. Uh, so maybe we'll show you that in a more in-depth review of the motion next time. Color, of course, which is a beautiful new tool that's all the hype in Final Cut Studio. So I'll just save randomly. Um, you can see that it's it's more of a gray tone, which is very helpful so that you can see your color. You can import your clips, although it's easier to send directly from Final Cut Studio. You have your different uh, windows, your primary in where you do all your preliminary uh, uh, editing of a certain clip, secondaries, and then you move on to your color effects. There's tons of color effects here you can use, and there's even a color effects bin where they have already created special uh, effects that you may want to use. Uh, the defocus vignette, uh, the dream cold effect, uh, dream warm. So there's different things you can use here in this window. Uh, and you can also add things and create yourself. Now, this is uh, more of a complicated tool. It took me a while to use, uh, to figure out how to use. You can add uh, all sorts of different looks. And by by putting these together, I can't show you right now because I don't have a clip in here, but by intermingling them, you might have color, which will move through maybe two other uh, add-ins and then will output into another. And by Mitch matching and mingling these you're creating different sorts of effects so it's it's interesting to use and also complicated at the same time but your output is just amazing and it, it does take some time to render but that all of course has to do with your RAM so but it's a, a very awesome tool and later on we'll go more in depth into color so make sure you come on back if you're very interested in that also here there's DVD Studio Pro 4 and you can use this to tailor, uh, to author some very professional DVDs. Let's open something more recent. Like I said, you can take uh, something from Motion and directly move it into your DVD Studio Pro menu. So this here is something that I've taken from my uh, from uh, Motion and I've exported it here and looped it at the end so that I can use this as a menu. So we'll do a quick walkthrough. So it's a pretty cool uh, tool to use. This is something I did for my grandparents 50th anniversary. So that's that. You have your different clips which are connected to the menu of course you can have sub menus and all kinds of things you have your assets over here and your log over here which is very helpful so that if you have any problems it literally logs everything you're doing in addition to when you format and build your DVD so if there's any problem in the burning process it will note that there uh, over here you can do simple edits of the parameters of different things and uh, you can see all of your clips here, your different uh, video tracks you might have in the menu. Uh, you can, of course, do slideshows and scripts and whatnot. Over here, they have tons of templates you can use, which are great. And they have drop zones, so you can add in whatever you need. Uh, there's an abundant source of templates, um, shapes styles, all kinds of cool stuff you can use over here. So this is uh, awesome for specific DVD authoring. So all you video video editors, uh, uh, you know, doing uh, event shoots, this is definitely a great tool for tailoring a DVD menu however you'd like and to really show off 
and and give your client some some great products uh, a great DVD compressor is a very awesome tool you can literally input your media source here I'll get a random clip movies okay so again everything's done drag and drop uh, also you can import but it's it's a very simple intuitive editing system so you want to take this start a new target uh, with the setting so of course you have an abundant array of, of different types of conversions you might need to make maybe for DVD and within that there's tons of different options and within that there's more options so uh, you can literally export your media source in whatever format you'll need uh, maybe for encoding for the web or for your iPod uh, and whatever you need for DVD and for other uh, sources so it's definitely helpful and you can export it uh, well, one of the things that's really cool is you can actually maybe you want to export something for your iPod, but you have tons of different versions. That's probably not the best example. Maybe you want to export something for, well, let's just say you want to export something in a specific format. You can do so and then actually uh, place different destinations within. So it will render whatever you have and then it will have separate copies in whatever folders you need which is pretty cool and you can also do some simple edits in this window as well so it's a very very awesome tool for exporting in whatever format you may need so that's that I showed you all of the applications and there's some other tools that are included into Final Cut like uh, let's see some stuff that I don't use because I don't do any film telecine editing but cinema, cinema tools uh, which some people might use uh, so anyways that's that's about it so that's the uh, Final Cut Studio 2 those are the major applications and uh, they're definitely intuitive systems very simple to use very simple to work with and to learn from and of course it's always best to go out there and pay to uh, quickly learn but it's also always fun to explore on your own and to learn about these systems on your own. Uh, although in doing so, uh, you want to actually have some sort of book or some sort of tool that will teach you some things that you might overlook in learning these applications yourself. So I don't need to tell you guys how much I love Final Cut Studio 2. Uh, I love Final Cut Pro and in my opinion it's one of the better systems better editing suites than any other that I've used I know Avid is the industry standard but unfortunately I prefer Final Cut over Avid and I think especially with the new addition of color many editors are moving to Final Cut Pro or are integrating color into their editing system so it's it's just a, a great application it's a great tool for video editing and I just think just the power and the overall uh, simplicity uh, of the program just makes it a better system to use uh, I haven't done too much editing on the Avid just some simple cutting but I feel limited when I use it and when I use the Final Cut Pro I just I'm growing every single day and it just seems like I'm unlimited in, in the different types of, of editing I can do, uh, techniques, and I'm just, I just continue to learn every day. So it's just a great, great program for me, that is. So I definitely encourage you guys to go check it out at the Apple Store. So thanks for watching, and remember to come back because I will be covering uh, some specific reviews of the different applications, which hopefully will be cool. And I will also be taking on uh, questions and hopefully doing video reviews if they're in high demand of uh, some specific uh, techniques you might want to use in FCP or some specific uh, color grading you guys want to know about in color. So be sure to let me know. And thanks for watching again.